I have a huge frustration when it comes to vintage clothing, and there is exactly one thing that can fix it. In a world where only the best pieces were saved, such as those that were for weddings, proms, and other life events that happen while living in a smaller body. Being a plus-size person who enjoys vintage can be very frustrating, because it seems like no matter where you go or what you do, you will never find your size. Even in warehouses that are full of vintage, going all the way back to the 1890s, it can be really challenging to find clothes in my size. This is Glenna's. We are inside my heaven, my dream, my adore. Yeah, I, I'm so happy. So this is Glenna's. It is racks and racks and racks of vintage. Glenna's is a by appointment, vintage only warehouse located in Tacoma, Washington. And she stocks some of the most amazing pieces I have ever seen in real life. I, I'm so happy. I want to cry. This is beautiful. Whew. This is what I aspired to be one day. We're not there yet, but we aspire. In her world, there's Versace and gunny sacks and handmade, and they're all intertwined in the racks and racks of clothing. And even with all that vintage, I was still frustrated. Now I wanna be very clear, I was not frustrated at Glenna's, nor was I frustrated at her available stock. What frustrates me is the way in which vintage clothing is viewed through our skewed lens of time. You don't see it, so it doesn't exist, right? Wrong. The reason you don't see it is because it existed for too long. It was worn over and over and over again cut down to make smaller bodies as seams wore through, and then cut again to make rags for cleaning so that all of the fiber could be used for the longest period of time. From dressed to dust, quite literally, it vanishes. But know this, plus size bodies have always existed. Both of my grandmothers were plus size, and I would see their clothes and just think how pretty they were. And inevitably, they would pull out the wedding dress, the prom dress, these clothes in which fit them in the thinner bodies that they remember. And they would wax poetic about how they felt and how they wished they could get back there. Back before babies, back before stress, before they even really started living their life, they waxed poetic about these clothes that they wore when they were actual children. These bodies, that carried them well into their 80s. These bodies that bore multiple children, that lived, that laughed, that loved, that ate good food. And yet, they would only save their good stuff to pass down. All that beautiful clothing that they wore when they were larger, where did it go? It got handed over. It got passed off to a neighbor when they got tired of it. It got cut down for their daughters. It got cut into rags because it was worn threadbare, and as most are, lost to time, except in photos. The ways in which we can remember that these people lived and laughed and loved in larger bodies. The photos that capture us, because look at that person that we're related to. Aren't they beautiful, no matter what size they are? So what's the magic cure? For me, a current plus size person who loves vintage fashion, what is that cure? What's the one thing that can cure my frustration? Is it losing 50 pounds so I can fit back into the pieces from before? No. Is it to go troll all of the different resale sites and pay hundreds of dollars for the very few pieces that somehow manage to stand the test of time? No. Well, then is it to buy reproduction brands that are made brand new, but then you have to deal with the ethics of the fact that it's made brand new? Also, no. My one trick, my one thing that will fix my frustration is sewing. Sewing is how I bring these garments back to life, how I pull them out of the dust and the muck and the mire. Sewing is the cure for my frustration. Sewing is how I get to take the vintage fabrics that I can find at places like Glenna's and the buttons that I can find at places like Glenna's and I can create them and I can mold them and I can make something new 
but not new at the same time. Because I use the vintage patterns from 80 years ago. Because I use the vintage fabric from 80 years ago. Because I am tired of going to a beautiful warehouse and finding one dress that didn't even go over my head. So I sew. I bring these garments to life for me. I get to dig through the piles of vintage fabric that no one really knows what to do with. I know what to do with it. So I get to dig, I get to find, I get the joy of seeing this finished garment in my head as soon as I touch that fabric. Will they be perfectly tailored like they were in the past? No. <laughs> but that's because I will make them to fit me and my own exceptionally odd and adorable body. I will make the vintage fit me as I am. I could go back and buy the vintage undergarments and buy the girdles and cinch myself in and try and make myself fit into the rare garments that are still around. But at the bottom line, I don't want to. I don't want to do those things. I like my modern undergarments. I like the fact that I perpetually have room for more tacos. I like my modern ways. And it's great if you want to create that look, if you want to wear those things. I love that for you, but that is not for me. So I will take this vintage fabric, the vintage pattern, the vintage buttons, heck, the vintage zipper that crinches me in the side every time I zip it up because I forget to avoid the metal teeth. And one day, maybe, when I'm gone, someone who is my size will walk into a vintage shop and see the pieces that I made available that fit their bodies so that they will get the feeling of finding treasure in their size that I don't really get to do. Uh, yeah, didn't mean to cry, but here we are. <laughs>